Hi Bobs, it's Sam. So I went to England, I'm back, and I've got a little haul for you guys. So I think I'm gonna do two separate ones because this one is all just gonna be the beauty stuff that I bought, and then I'm gonna do a food haul because, I don't know, I feel like maybe mixing it all together might be really long and let's just keep it simple. Some of the stuff I got in Boots, some of the stuff I got in Duty Free when I was at the Heathrow Airport. So I'm gonna show you guys the stuff that I got at Boots first. The very first thing I got, and I wanted to get this, this was on my list because I did my research, was the Ghost Orb of the Night. I have Ghost Deep Night, which is one of my like holy grail favorite perfumes. It is so, so beautiful. Um, but this one I feel like is more of a summery scent. So the Deep Night is more of like a, a nighttime, really sexy, really soldier tree a little bit deeper a little bit richer this one is like really summery so I have it on my wrist it's kind of sweet there's like a little bit of like a fruity kind of scent to it like it's it's just like really good for summer it's just amazing and it does linger it's not quite as strong as the deep night but it is a really good summer scent if you're just looking for something that lingers that's like not super overpowering it's a little bit sweet a little bit fruity this is the one it's so delicious and I'm gonna try and link all of the ones here and I'll maybe I'll put the UK links and then I'll also put um, the US links if I can find them that way you guys have the option the next one I got was the Hugo Boss the scent magnetic I also had this on my list of things to get this one is really really nice it kind of has like a black currant Ribena black raspberry black raspberry raspberry blackberry I don't know there's something about it that's like very kind of like berry-ish yeah it's really really yummy a little bit more appropriate for like nighttime this is like a summer nighttime scent in my opinion it's kind of like a little bit deeper um a little bit sexier a little bit richer so if you're looking for something like that like a summertime nighttime scent this is definitely the one and then I also picked up the Britney Spears naked fantasy this was so cheap it's super yummy it's sweet but there's like this like kind of light brightness to it it's like a creamier version of the regular fantasy it's just like a little bit more like summer it's like really summer kind of like bright I don't know it's just like it's just so yummy so highly recommend that if you guys are looking for a good summer scent that's the one for sure I also grabbed the Ted Baker raspberry and orange blossom this was three pounds it's just a really good like keep in your bag super tiny it's very floral so it has like that orange blossom scent to it it's so nice i don't really smell the raspberry i really just smell the orange blossom like it's a really good floral scent obviously this is not going to linger because it's just a body spray but it is really nice just kind of like freshen up and i also got the lotion so this is so so yummy it's uh yeah it's just really floral it just smells like you're walking by some kind of like amazing bush of flowers. It's so, so delicious. Okay, I also got these. I wanted the pink one, but they were sold out. These are the MAC Squirt Plumping, what are they called? Squirt Plumping Gloss Stick. Hate the name. I don't know why they called it Squirt. It just sounds gross. I got the purple and the orange. The orange is called Hazard and the purple is called Violet Beta. Um, so these are basically like the Makeup by Mario, you know, my, what are they called? The lip serums. They're kind of like exactly the same, except they're bright colors. So that's the purple one. They smell like vanilla. And then this is the orange, but they have the exact same formula and feel as the lip serums from Makeup by Mario that I love. But those ones are all kind of nude and these ones are all really, really bright. The orange is super duper beautiful over just like a good peachy pinky nude lip. This one's a little bit more blue toned than I would like. I kind of was hoping it was going to be more of a pink purple, but it's a very blue purple. Okay, I also grabbed the Garnier Summer Body Deep Sunkissed Glow. I don't think that we can get this here in the US, but my Auntie Maxine uses this and she had it on her face and her face was so so tan. You guys know I love a good fake tan, so I'm really excited to try that. I think I got this last time. I'm pretty sure. I also picked up some Zoflora. We can't get Zoflora here in America, which is so rude because it just, it's amazing. I've ordered it once on Amazon and it was kind of pricey. So I thought, well, while I'm there, I'll just pick it up. If you guys watch any English people who clean, they always have Zoflora. Like it's just a given. I grabbed the Country Garden, which my aunt says was her absolute favorite scent. You guys, I paid like one pound for these. They're so cheap. It's so cheap in England. 
I also got the Zoflora Linen Fresh. And basically you can put, you can do all sorts of these. They kill bacteria, um, but they smell amazing. So you can put them in, it says, effective against common household smells, including bins, drains, pet odors. So they are suitable for use in homes with pets. So they're not dangerous for pets. And you basically just put it in, you do one capful will make 400 ml. And this 120 ml bottle makes almost five liters of full strength disinfectant. You can use it in bathrooms, potties, drains, hard surface pet areas, dishcloths and sponge, hard floors and tiles, kitchens. So she said how she likes to use it is she puts it in her like spray mop. She will soak her like sponges and cloths in it. And then I also got the Midnight Blooms. This was a slightly bigger one. I think this was around three pounds, um, but yeah. I'm so excited to put this in my mop, my little spray mop, because it's gonna make my house smell so delicious. Then we went to Asda Living, and my aunt, she said, oh, can I buy you something? And I said, I'd love this. And she said, well, that's only five pounds. And I was like, yeah, but I really want it. It's a soap dispenser, and it's a lady with hips and a belly pooch, just like me, and a bum. Like, literally, I'm pretty sure this is my body. I mean, her tummy that might be a little bit more round than mine, but I just thought, is this me in a little what's it? I think it is. So I got this, it was five pounds. It's by George Home and it was at Asda Living. I'll try and find something similar for you guys who are in the US, but it's just like, it's so Kim K. I love it. Okay, now we're moving on to duty free and I had so much fun. I only had 20 minutes in duty free, so I had to be quick. The very first thing that I think that everyone needs for summertime is the Dylan Purple from Versace. You guys, I got a free gift, which I was not expecting, but then they gave me one. This is a little crossbody for purchasing this, and it was free, and it's so cute. This is so good. So initially, my sister found it. I don't know why I never am drawn to Versace perfumes, but she sprayed it, and then I was like, oh my gosh, I absolutely need that. Like, that's so good. There's kind of like a Ribena, black currant, berry scent to it. But then once it dries down, it like sticks into your skin. It's super rich. It smells amazing. There's kind of like a pheromone to it because Jay was like, God, you smell so good. It's one of those ones that lingers. It's kind of sweet, but there's like, the scent is so confusing. Like I, I read the notes and I was like, that means nothing to me. Like I do not know what that means. But honestly, you just need it. Just trust me, go get a sample, spray it on your wrist. Do not spray it on the paper. On the paper, it doesn't smell that good. You have to spray it on your wrist and then you will know how fab it is. But honestly, it lingers. It smells so good. It's something I've never had before. It's very, very unique, but it kind of gives me Prada Paradox vibes. So if you like Prada Paradox, you're gonna love that one. Next one I got was in Duty Free as well. This is the Chloe, and I didn't even know that these existed. Atelier des... Oh no, Atelier des Fleurs, des Fleurs. You guys know I'm not good at French. It's the Jasminum Sambac. The back, the packaging is gorge. It's so neutral and delicious and lovely. Got this cute little makeup bag for free, which is so cute. And then the perfume is like so floral, so yummy. Definitely something that lingers. It's just like a really nice, it just smells like jasmine. It smells exactly like flowers. It's so nice. I also got the Hugo Boss Orange. This one is definitely a, something that I normally don't go for, but there's, it kind of smells like ghost. I think it's just ghost, the original. It's really hard to describe actually. I don't know what it smells like. It kind of has like, there's like a fruitiness, but then there's some, some kind of like f freshness to it or something. Honestly, I think I just need to look up the notes because I'm trying to describe things that I think are like impossible to describe. The Boss Orange, Sweet Apple, White Flowers, Orange Blossom, Creamy Vanilla. So, and it's, it's very lightweight. It's really, really nice. So it's kind of like floral, but there's a little bit of a citrusy kind of scent. I don't know, it's really, really nice. It's very subtle, really good for summer. Then let me look up the notes for the Versace. So we can get it for $70 at Ulta for the small one, the one ounce. What size did I get? I got 1.7 ounces. So it says the Versace Dylan Purple is a floral fruity. It's bitter orange, Italy or pur, pear juice, accord bergamot, Italy or pur, 
Purple Freesia, Palmer Rose, Mahonial, ISO E Super, Cedarwood, Virginia Orper, Ambrofix, and Bellombre Skylid Silk Collide. See what I mean? Who knows what those are? I do know what pear is, and I do know what bitter orange is, and, and I, I don't know what freesia is. You're just gonna have to trust me. It's amazing. Chloe Jasmine Sambac. It just says it's a floral green with soft and sunny notes. It doesn't say the notes though. Whoa, I, I paid way less. It's 155 at Nordstrom for the 1.7 and I got 1.6 for $90. Velvety Jasmine Petals. There's no notes. It's, I think it's just Jasmine. Sorry guys, I thought I could be more helpful, but I cannot. Britney Spears Naked Fantasy. Applejack, Black Currant, Peach, Osmanthus, and Water Lily. Cupcake, Vanilla, Musk, and Apricot. I knew there was Apricot, I knew there was Peach, and I knew there was Vanilla. That's basically describing it perfectly. That's what it smells like to me. Um, let's look up Hugo Boss. So Hugo Boss, the scent magnetic for her. This one's notes are Osmanthus, Musk, and Ambrette white musk and amber that's interesting because it doesn't really smell musky or ambery to me at all to me it smells really fruity <laughs> i mean there is a richness and kind of a deepness so maybe that's the musk i got hugo boss the scent for him the notes of this are ginger mandarin orange bergamot manika or sorry maninka lavender leather and woody notes honestly so sexy like this smells so yum so yum my new favorite men's cologne so if you're looking for a good scent for your husband boyfriend don't give it to your dad it's too sexy for your dad it's for your husband or your boyfriend it is so good it's perfect for father's day i had so much fun there it was a really quick trip it was only a week that I was gone, but technically I was only there for five days. Um, but I had so much fun. I went there for my nanny's 88th birthday. I surprised her and then she had a huge surprise birthday party. It was so much fun. And I didn't vlog anything while I was there as far as like for YouTube because I was really just like, I just wanted to like be there and like, you know what I mean? I just, I didn't really feel like vlogging, but I did get some really cute little clips for Instagram because they were just cute and easy and I didn't have to you know, I just don't like having a camera in my hand all the time. Like it's not that fun. <laughs> so, but you always have your phone. So I got some really cute little reels for Instagram. So if you don't follow me on Instagram, definitely go and follow me on there so you guys can check them out because they were so cute. Um, but yeah, I hope that you guys enjoyed this haul. And then the next video will be my English food haul and it's all junk food. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this. Again, I'll try and link everything that I possibly can, and I hope you guys all have a fab day, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye. Oh, I forgot to show you what I got from my, my aunt. Um, so I don't know who, I think this was from my nanny. This was actually my Christmas gift, but it got returned to them. It's this really cute little River Island wallet. It's so cute, very chic. It looks like this on the inside and then there's like an actual zip for coins. So I got that and then my nanny or sorry, my aunt got me this Hermes dupe. It's like a cute little crossbody bag. It's not so cute. And then my cousin got me this gorgeous little key ring and it's personalized. So it has my name on it and it's like got little flowers inside of it. Well, that's not showing. Hold on. And it's got a cute little butterfly. Isn't that so pretty? That's such a pretty key ring. So I also got those as well. And now I'm finished. I hope you guys all have a fab day. And I'll see you guys in my next one.